your lecture we're going to try and calculate the entropy change of a system when the temperature is not kept constant so I have a closed system in which I have two cups of water one is over here and the other one is over here so they're two beakers of water and there's a heat exchanger between them which means this shows that heat is being transferred between the two beakers of water now the the mass of water in each beaker is 250 grams so it's 250 grams of water on this side left hand side a beaker and 250 grams of water on the right hand side beaker but there's one difference and that difference is that the temperature of the left hand beaker is 0 degrees centigrade while the temperature of the right hand beaker is going to be 100 degrees centigrade now using uh, common sense you would know that heat is going to flow from the right hand beaker to the left hand beaker so because the right hand beaker is hotter it's 100 degrees centigrade and the left hand beaker is colder it's 0 degrees centigrade so heat would flow from the hotter side hotter beaker to the one that is cold so this is the direction of, of flow of heat now I'm going to first focus on this left hand beaker uh, which contains 250 grams of water and it's at 0 degrees centigrade so and uh, the right hand beaker ha also has 250 grams of water and it, but it has a, it is at 100 degrees centigrade and we have already we've already discussed that heat is going to flow from the right hand beaker which is the hotter beaker and it would go towards the left hand beaker so so if i want to estimate what the final temperature of both beakers is going to be then that that final temperature would be 50 degrees celsius so that would be 50 degrees centigrade for both for both beakers so that's your because that's the final average temperature because both beakers had the same quantity of water this is at 100 degrees centigrade this one is at 0 degrees centigrade so if heat flows from the right hand beaker so this right hand beaker would become cooler and the left hand beaker would become hotter and the average temperature at which heat exchange would stop would be 50 degrees centigrade so 50 degrees centigrade is the average temperature of uh, if you take the average of 100 degrees centigrade and the average of 0 degrees centigrade so the final temperature assuming that no heat is lost from this system so the final temperature of both beakers is going to be 50 degrees centigrade so that's my final temperature now I'm going to focus on the left hand beaker and I'm going to calculate the amount of heat that is gained by this left hand beaker so so I'm going to uh, try and calculate DQ which is the amount of energy that would be gained so this would be positive so this is this can be calculated using mc mass into specific heat capacity of water into delta t which is the change in temperature in kelvin so the mass is 250 grams the specific heat capacity of water is 4.186 joules per gram and you're going to multiply it by the change in temperature which in this case is the final temperature was 50 centigrade minus the initial temperature which, which was 0 degree centigrade remember I don't need to calculate that uh, convert that into Kelvin's because the difference in temperature is going to remain the same even if you convert it in Kelvin's and the value that I'm going to get is I'm going to use my calculator to get get the value of the temperature or energy change the value that I am getting is uh, it's equal to 52,000 joules and remember the sign is going to be positive so this is the amount of energy that is being uh, transferred from the right hand beaker to the left hand beaker so this is the amount of energy that is being transferred to this beaker which is at 0 degree centigrade and the, its final temperature is going to be 50 degree centigrade and we can also calculate the amount of energy that is being lost by this beaker so uh, we don't actually need to calculate because the amount of energy that is being gained by this beaker is the amount of energy that would be lost by this beaker but we can do our calculations quickly and see so the value of dq is going to be again mass which is m which is 250 grams into specific heat capacity of water which is 4.186 multiplied by delta t and the change in temperature in this case is going to be the final temperature is 50 minus the initial temperature which is 100 so so the value that I'm getting is automatically it's going to be negative 52,000 joules so this is the amount of heat energy that is being lost by this beaker so DQ over here is negative and DQ over here is positive so energy is being transferred from the right hand beaker to the left hand beaker via this heat exchanger 
The next thing that I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and calculate the average temperature of the left hand beaker and the average temperature of the right hand beaker. So, so if you look at the temperature of the left hand beaker, it changes from uh, it changes from zero degrees Celsius centigrade to 50 degrees centigrade. And if you calculate the average, so the T average on the left hand beaker, the average temperature at which this energy transfer is taking place is around 25 centigrade. And if you look at the right hand beaker, you would notice that the average, uh, uh, the initial temperature was 100 degrees centigrade and the final temperature is 50 degrees centigrade. So the average temperature at which this heat exchange is taking place. So the average temperature is going to be, so the average of 150 is going to come out to be 75 degrees centigrade. Now using this T average, for both uh, the left hand beaker and the right hand beaker I'm going to try and calculate the the entropy change and remember the, the formula for entropy change was it was uh, delta S was equal to the energy gain or lost divided by the average temperature at which this heat transfer was taking place so we can we can use this formula and we can try and calculate uh, what our value is going to be so it's going to be it's going to be uh, the value of dq is 52 thousand joules divided by the average temperature over here is 25 degrees centigrade so it's going to be 273 that should be in kelvin so it's 273 plus 25 degrees centigrade and this value comes out to be equal to 175.6 joules per Kelvin. So this over here is my change in entropy for the left hand beaker. The average temperature is 25 degrees centigrade. So that's uh, 25 degrees centigrade plus 273. So that's the same value in Kelvin's. 52,000 joules was the energy that was being gained by the left hand beaker. So the entropy change for the left hand beaker comes out to be 175.6 joules per Kelvin. Now using the same method, I'm going to try and calculate the entropy change delta S for the right hand beaker and remember the average temperature, T average that we calculated is 75 degrees centigrade So, the, and this beaker over here is losing energy so we've already calculated that it's minus 52,000 joules that is lost. So we're going to use the formula of uh, entropy change which is delta S is equal to the energy that is gained or lost divided by the average temperature at which that energy loss is taking place and we have minus 52,000 joules the energy that is being lost divided by the T average which is 75 degrees centigrade and that should be in Kelvin so we're going to add 273 to that value and we're going to calculate the value which comes out to be this value comes out to be uh, it's going to come out to be minus 150 point four joules per Kelvin so this over here is my is my entropy change uh, for the right hand beaker so let's uh, underline put it put a line underneath that so these are my two entropy change values one for the left hand beaker and one for the right hand beaker the right hand beaker the entropy change is negative because it's losing energy that means it's losing disorder it's losing entropy and the left hand beaker is gaining energy which means that disorder would be increasing so it's uh, so the entropy change is positive so the left hand beaker the entropy change is positive and for the right hand beaker the entropy change is negative the last thing now we, that we are going to do is we are going to try and calculate the overall entropy change of both systems this combined system that we are talking about the left hand beaker and the right hand beaker so we are going to try and calculate the overall entropy change and the way we can do that is so the overall entropy change delta S total for the entire system is going to be the entropy change for the left hand beaker plus the entropy change for the right hand beaker so we need to add the two values so it's going to be 175.6 joules per Kelvin plus the for the right hand beaker it's minus 150.4 joules per Kelvin and the answer that I'm going to get is it's going to be if I if I sum the two values up 
it's going to come out to be 25.2 joules per Kelvin and you can see that the overall entropy change is positive so whenever uh, a reaction takes place whenever heat is transferred the net entropy change of the system and of its surrounding it's going to be positive it's always going to be positive there's always going to be a net gain in entropy